Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a bilge pump well for a Carolina skiff. Now this is a Carolina skiff 16 foot, a J16 uh, project boat that I bought. Now in the past, whenever I've been on a Carolina skiff, I noted that there's no bilge pump well. Uh, there's actually two scuppers in the back, but they're oftentimes located below the waterline, so you constantly got an inch of water in the back of the boat. I just didn't want that. You know, I want to be able to step onto my boat and keep my sneakers dry. A very uh, simple and very easy solution to that is just to install a bilge pump well and an automatic bilge pump. Uh, water will flow into that well, which is deeper than the surrounding deck, and you can pump it out and keep your feet dry or the deck dry. So I just uh, used a, a black magic marker and, and measured out where I wanted the well and the size of the well. I, I'm using a, a Dremel multi-tool, just one of the um, vibrating saws, uh, just to cut through that fiberglass. And I'm doing that because I, I can regulate how deep I want to go. And I really just want to cut that surface layer of fiberglass. I really don't know how deep the foam is underneath uh, the deck, and I certainly wouldn't want to damage the hull itself. It turned out that there's plenty of foam um, plenty of depth to the foam. I used a circular sword just to make some um, cuts from port to starboard. It's going to give me smaller pieces to chisel out and then I used just a large flathead screwdriver uh, to pry and chisel out uh, the deck glass or the deck fiberglass. You know, you'll, you'll see that there's also stringers that run side to side, little very thin fiberglass stringers. But in, in addition to that, you've just got the foam. So I'm going to remove that foam and I use the same uh, multi-tool just to kind of cut down the edge that's the, the transom glass that I'm removing the foam from right there. I also removed it right down to the uh, exposing the fiberglass on the hull. And then I made the sides and the front just as smooth as possible. Now because that foam, it was not wet, but it was damp, um, it would have been hard to fiberglass right onto the foam. There just would have been too many little air pockets. I used a fiberglass putty um, and just kind of sealed all of the foam um, and, and made a solid layer that I could fiberglass to. The other option would have been to build a, a box out of you know plastic and insert it into the hole. E either way, it's going to accomplish the same thing. So this is the, the puttied uh, glass box. The putty I used was Bondo, and it's the fiberglass Bondo, so it's got fiberglass strands in there. I sanded that all smooth, and now I'm going to apply glass. I'm using biaxal, which is probably a little bit overkill. It's just I had biaxal left over from another project. Biaxal is a combination of uh, the mesh, the fiberglass mesh, and fiberglass woven, so it's fairly thick also. I pre-saturate the side that's going to get applied to the um, to the boat just on a piece of cardboard. I find that it that it wraps corners better. Um, it, it's much easier to get completely saturated rather than working with a uh, a dry piece. And I'm just using a, a, a small roller. I'm going to uh, cover all four sides as well as the floor, and then I'm going to overlap. All of, the, all of the edges, all of the corners. And then in, in addition to the biaxal, I also used some mat, some of the thinner mat, uh, just to get um, you know, all of the corners covered without any folds, without any, any issues. As long as the fiberglass has not dried, uh, you can continue to lay up pieces. So you can mix some more resin and you can cut some more glass and, and just keep working on it. Um, once it dries, then you have to you know, sand it and you have to rub it down with acetone before you did it again. This is the basically the finished box. I mean, I have some sanding to do. Um, all fiberglassed in. I was going to drill, or I did drill, a one-inch hole through the stern. I made a little bit of a mistake here, and I went on too much of an angle um, so that um, you'll see in a second. I'm going to insert one of those little uh, uh, brass sleeves, and this is for a plug. But that uh, hole location on the inside was a little bit above the floor 
Uh, I would have preferred it to be a little bit closer. I, I, I threw some pictures of this project up on one of the Facebook groups, and one of the guys said I really should have fiberglassed in a piece of wood to screw down the bilge pump to. Great idea. Um, so I, I didn't screw down, I didn't fiberglass in a piece of wood. I fiberglassed in a piece of plastic wood, PVC board, that I found at Home Depot, um, and I made a false floor. So this accomplished two things. It raised the deck in there a little bit so that my, my plug is now located correctly, um, and I can now screw down and attach not only my bilge pump, but auto also my automatic floating switch. So I re-sanded, re, you know, re-puttied, re-sanded, re-fiberglassed that in place, and then I just rolled on some gel coat. Um, as a finishing touch, I took a, a thin piece of plastic, I guess it's quarter inch or so, it's just a piece that I had laying around. I drilled a bunch of holes in it, um, and I made a deck screen. This is because we do a lot of jacking at night for crabs, and we get a lot of seaweed and eels flopping around the boat, and I just don't want the majority of that stuff from getting down into the bilge. So here's my little bilge pump, screwed into location, the automatic float switch, and then I'll run the tubing up from the bilge pump um, and overboard uh, once I get the, ma the motor mounted. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little how-to video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, I would love to hear any comments in the comments section. And please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com for a bunch of boating and nautical-related do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much for watching.